breaking news welcome to today's headlines tension as many protests block abuja airport road tension as many protests block abuja airport road to my dear listeners from wherever you are listening from please stay tuned as i read today's news aggrieved commercial motorcyclist in federal capital territory have begun to protest against the impounding of their motorcycles on the federal capital territory administration task force had stormed the Gozal area along the airport road in Abuja to clamp down on the operators. The motorcyclist reportedly blocked the road in protest and caused heavy traffic for motorists plying the road. Aggrieved commercial motorcyclist in federal capital territory have began to protest against the impounding of their motorcycles on. The Federal Capital Territory Administration Task Force had stormed the Gozal area along the airport route in Abuja to clamp down on the operators. The motorcyclist reportedly blocked the road in protest and caused heavy traffic for motorists plying the road. Aggrieved commercial motorcyclists in federal capital territory have begun to protest against the impounding of their motorcycles on. The Federal Capital Territory Administration Task Force had stormed the Gozal area along the airport route in Abuja to clamp down on the operators. The motorcyclists reportedly blocked the road in protest and caused heavy traffic for motorists plying the road. Aggrieved commercial motorcyclists in federal capital territory have begun to protest against the impounding of their motorcycles on. The Federal Capital Territory Administration Task Force had stormed the Gozal area along the airport road in Abuja to clamp down on the operators. The motorcyclists reportedly blocked the road in protest and caused heavy traffic for motorists flying the road. So my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of today's news and now before I go, in my opinion, personally I'm not expecting less from, um, from the motorcyclist, those who ride Okada. Because if, um, if, if, um, because um, it happens that as government even before the government can decide on impounding them from banning them from riding in the country what what employment or what means of employment has the government created for them to have um, for them to do so as to earn a better life for them to cater for their families many of these people that ride okada even even we have graduates among them but they are doing it mainly because they didn't have they didn't have jobs they didn't have employment to, to, to take care of their families, and that is the reason why they are riding Okada. And as a matter of fact, a president of a nation does not, ride, does not have a right to, 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 to ban Okada riders. Where is that coming from? Even if you, if, even we know this country, there is nothing like a constitution. It is what the president says, it is what the government says.
and this is what they will do but what means of employment have you created for these people what do you want these people to eat and you keep saying there are criminals in the country when these people do not when these people do not have any uh, have any option even if even if you are telling them to go and learn who are those that will patronize them who are those that will go there because people that does not have job will worry come to people that do not have jobs people that are learning to come down court is here will he come there he has his own personal tailor he has his own personal barber so for how long would you continue um how for how long would you continue um putting people in problems you're making them inconvenient in a nation that they vote they 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 they, they, all, they all vote for you why would you keep why would you keep people in suffering why would you keep suffering people many people are not happy with with, with the way things are many broken marriage today is caused by poverty the reasons why you have many youth on the street that are not going to school is because their parent does not have a good job to cater for them to send them to school what plans has the government put down for those people in what way have the government think of helping these people that are not going to school and we still have people that feels like that they have interest in going to school but because they didn't see any alternative they have no alternative there is no one to help then the next thing for them to do is start pickpocketing then they start upgrading gradually gradually they become a bigger thieves one of the problems we're having in this country is our government there is no means of there's no means of pro, um, uh, employment there is there is there is no good education there is bad roads bad electricity bad government for how long and we still we keep complaining we keep talking about it yet the government are still not doing anything to us they are not taking any sign of imp uh, any sign of sympathy on us they do not have the interest of the citizens in mind and personally i just see it as something intentional and if it is intentional what has other regions done to you for them to decide this kind of to, for them to, for them to deserve this kind of treatment you're giving to them it is very wrong it is a wicked act and inhuman in human character so my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from now we've come to the end of our today's news Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.